The best quality hybrid and traditional photo lighting and shooting videos are available for you at ShootSmarterUniversity.com. And they're less than $10 a piece, too. Hi, this is Gary Poole for Discover Mirrorless. Black and white photography has always had a special appeal to most of us as we grew up watching old black and white movies and we often rummaged through our grandparents' black and white photographs or old vintage sepia photographs. With the ability with these new lighter, smaller mirrorless cameras to capture HD video as well as uh, great photographs, uh, it becomes uh, quite fun actually to put together slideshows with using the black and white mode or the vintage or sepia mode but I want to show you how easy it is in Lightroom 4 to create your own style of vintage or black and white or sepia from a color uh, video clip so stay tuned and watch me work in Lightroom 4 and I'll show you how easy it really is one of the things I enjoy the most about photography and uh, videography is the ability to create effects in post-processing with Lightroom and other um, software programs and I guess I like the freedom of uh, creating whatever I like uh, in post-processing as opposed to trying to get exactly the effect I'm looking for in the camera because when I'm shooting I really may not know what I'm looking for and then I guess I enjoy actually the time spent afterwards uh, working around and getting different effects this is a little video clip that I shot in Lima Peru uh, last May and it was uh, Lima is a very old city very beautiful a lot of very old architecture and I uh, love the night photography there and I uh, got lots and lots of great video clips and pictures and I love the uh, the colors of the buildings it's just very bright and colorful uh, but the more I looked at this video clip I just kept picturing it in my mind being perhaps a black and white so I did that and I want to show you how easy it is uh, to do that as well on any of your video clips uh, if you've ever tried to correct video in Lightroom you'll notice you really can't do that in the develop module uh, where you do normal JPEGs video is not supported there so you have to create a way to get that um, uh, the effects from the develop module onto the video clip so here's how you do that first of all you need to create a JPEG so you simply click this box select capture frame and it puts uh, a duplicate over here that actually captures the frame wherever you are and it is a JPEG and develop module will work on a JPEG so there's a couple of ways you can convert it you can do color corrections exposure corrections anything you want uh, but we're just gonna create a black and white you can simply either click black and white or you can take the saturation down to minus 100 and if you wanted to even do a partial rendering of black and white that's okay too so let's bring the exposure up just a little bit. The look I'm after is more of a 40s, 50s television look with really, really deep blacks and rather bright uh, highlights. So we can adjust these curves until we get just the look we're after. And then once we get the look we're after, we have to uh, be able to uh, apply those to the video. And the, the way that Lightroom has set that up is a preset. So we simply click create a preset and we can call it uh, Lima black and white or whatever you want to call it that's what I'm gonna call mine and then click create so it's now created that preset you go back to the library mode click back on the video then come into the top portion where you have a saved preset click on that come down to user presets click Lima black and white and this will tell you what all it will save. It will save all of these different things, the settings, the white balance, exposure, contrast, tone curve, treatment, split process, split toning, and so forth. And so there's your black and white video. If you look closely, it very much resembles an old television show from the 40s or 50s, and this might make a really neat effect for a wedding or a senior clip um, or even a vacation clip. So there you see how easy it is. So I uh, hope you'll experiment with this um, tool in Lightroom 4 sometimes. Thanks so much for watching.